It was a power gathering that people could ill afford to miss. An iftar party thrown by the Congress president at the Congress headquarters at 24 Akbar Road. But one person conspicuous by his absence from this assemblage was Prime Minister H.D. Deve Gorda. An absence that set off speculations regarding the growing rift between the United Front government and the Congress. In a couple of days, more developments set off tongues wagging. In what appeared to be a political report, Mr. Kesri kept away from an iftar party hosted by Mr. Gowda. Even as media observers began their editorial exercises over an inevitable crack-up with the ruling party, senior Congress leaders felt it was too presumptuous to read between the lines. Iftars are becoming slightly too political now. I'm saying if I don't go some iftar party, doesn't mean that I does not like that particular leader or that particular person. It's uh, really, we should not, iftar is totally to create a communal harmony or some sort of, you know, harmonious atmosphere in the society. We should not look at the political angle, who went, who, who's iftar. And I see if this is the reason, then we should stop all this uh, uh, iftar parties. Such speculations have appeared within a fortnight of the United Front drawing flak from the Congress over the alleged surveillance of the AICC and the government's investigative agencies. Matters had worsened with some senior Congress leaders getting upset over CBI's interrogation of the party president, Kesri. In response, the United Front firmly refuted these allegations. Several party leaders in both the United Front and Congress opine that more than any personal differences between Kesri and Gorda, the fact that the United Front government is being supported by the Congress from outside makes the political scenario at the center an easy prey to rumors and conjectures. There is no rift to start with. They are doing their job, we are doing our job as a party in opposition and is supporting to the government. The role is very peculiar role. We are opposition also, we are supporter also. So we have to really be very cautious in our approach. Experts believe that the United Front government is trying its best to win over the support of congressmen with occasional calls from many of Front's constituent parties inviting the Congress to join the government. To such a call given this week by the Tamil Manila Congress chief G.K. Mupunar, the Congress responded with a firm no. We are different. We have a national approach when some of them have a regional approach. So Congress cannot share the platform with them. So all of them want us to join to have their stability. We are not interested in uh, their cause, we are interested for a national cause. And that is why Congress is not at all keen to join the government. And this is the CWC decision to support outside. So Bhupraji has given a call. When he is an old friend, he can give a call and he feels uh, in his own way that Congress should join. But I don't think this idea can be really, uh, will go well with the congressman. Congressmen do not want to join the government. Interestingly, some months back, informal feelers were sent to the TMC by senior congressmen following the unity call given by Sitaram Kesri to all those who had quit the Congress. With Devi Gowda trying to ensure stability of the United Front government and the Congress not wasting any opportunity to criticize the government, political analysts feel that the occasional voicing of differences between the Congress and United Front is at best an attempt by each party to gain political mileage and at worst, an effort to bring the other down.